Okay, welcome back everyone. This is part two already. Uh, my hair looks like shit. I have to go get a haircut, but whatever. So this is part two of the K20 Dotson build I'm going to film. Today's video will be especially uh, about the wiring. It will probably be a kind of short video because the wiring uh, isn't that special, to be honest. Uh, everything has already uh, been done, so it's very much just look it up on the internet and it's totally fine. But for the people that don't know, and maybe the people that want to do it for this car especially, I'm going to show you how I've done the wiring of some parts. Uh, I don't have my ECU yet because there are some problems with the guy that I bought my ECU from uh, with sending it and, and whatever and trading my own ACU and I'm not going to go any further in it because it's a good guy but whatever. So the first thing I'm going to tell you, you do need the original engine wiring harness. Uh, it's the part that goes to the ECU. It's the, the one with these cables. I have an automatic uh, wiring loom, so I have to probably cut some wires and adjust some things, but that will be fine. Uh, so I have these plugs. Let's show them real quick for you. These four, uh, you probably have three if you don't have an automatic, automatic transmission from your K20. Uh, it's the one uh, with the injectors and these things and whatever. And you need some other parts. First of all, you do need a tunable ECU. The first, uh, I bought a uh, Hondata, Hondata uh, with a K100 chip in it. It will be fine. I can tune it myself, but I don't have time to learn it for now. And uh, the, these are just way more expensive than the ones that you can tune yourself. So I'm not gonna do that. I have a friend that's a tuner, so I can just go there. He will do it all, so it's fine. Uh, and you need a conversion harness. I bought this one from Hybrid Racing, a uh, premium Honda racing gear. Um, it's a universal one. There are a few different ones because you can also just swap one in your like EG or AK or Del Sol or whatever. Uh, and then you need a, sp a special one for your car. So make sure you have the right one. Well, I don't have uh, a Honda right now. I mean, this isn't a Honda clearly. So I need the universal one to make sure that it works. It was pretty expensive, if you ask me, like 260 euros, and it was way smaller than I expected. There are three relays, there's some plugs, there's an OBD port that's very nice because normally these cars don't have OBD ports, and with this you can just read it. And I'm gonna make probably gonna make a digital dash out of like a tablet or whatever. Uh, this is your uh, what is it called oxygen sensor in your exhaust. I don't have one yet, so I have to make it or buy one. Uh, this one plugs right in. This one plugs in your ACU. And these are probably the main relay, fuel pump relay, and an extra... Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. These are probably the fuel pump, main, and something else. I'm not sure yet. Probably starter relay, but I'm not going to start uh, use the starter relay, because the starter is one big relay, so it's not really necessary. Uh, these are wired already, so I have to figure out some uh, some things about this because the main wiring uh, loops back towards the fuel pump, so I have to see which gets power and which doesn't. Okay, so for now I don't have my ECU yet, so all I can do is wire everything up except for the ECU, so I'll try to show you as good as possible and maybe I even get my ECU in time before I finish this video. But for now I'm just going to wire everything up uh, that's needed to do this and then just plug the ECU in and that's probably it. Uh, I always talk about it like it's super easy but it's probably going to give me some troubles after all. But let's start with this harness and with the engine harness I have right now. In order to not buy the wiring harness that I just bought, I tried to make my own wiring harness. For some reason it didn't work and it was a real pain in the ass to try and figure out where all the wires were going. So the first thing I have to do right now is cut out all the wires that I made myself to make sure that they don't interfere with the wiring harness that I just bought. Okay, so okay, so there's still some wiring left there. The, the, uh, the wiring is 
is because of these two relays. These were my fuel on my main relay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep them there for now, uh, just to make sure that it works. Uh, and when everything works, I probably gonna leave, get them away from there. Just make sure that everything is fine. But for now, I will leave them. This is the power wire for my starter. That's working because of that little button right there. Yep. Uh, it only works when my contact is on, on uh, start. For some reason, this, the ignition is ignition key lock thing is broken, and so the last uh, part doesn't work properly. So it's just like this. It works fine. So and I like the button. This is the main wiring harness, and this is the one I bought from. What's it called? I don't know anymore. These plugs, very easy. Just plug them together. They fit right in. Uh, okay, plug these in. Just like that. That's it. Very easy. So this goes in your ECU. Just like these ones. It's probably A, B, uh, and this C is for the uh, automatic transmission, and this is E. OBD port, very easy, obviously. And this, I don't know. I have to check it out. And I'm gonna wire up these relays. Uh, I'm not sure yet which one goes where. But we're gonna find out real quick which, uh, which goes where. First I have to mount them. Okay, so this isn't my permanent solution, but for now it's fine. Uh, I don't have my ECU yet, so I don't know where my ECU is coming. Uh, this is my brake system uh, part, because the brake system is completely hidden as well. But that's, that's not a story. So these are the main, the, the, the three relays. Uh, and they only gave me three extra wires. A red, a, green, a, red, uh, a blue one, and an orange one. Uh, I'm gonna figure out real quick which one does what. Uh, I guess one is to get some power and two go to something else, but I'm not sure yet. So I have to figure that out real quick and I'll be back when I find this out. Okay, so after looking for more than half an hour, it's almost impossible to find this shit. To find this shit, sorry. Uh, I found this hybrid racing uh, document that says which wire goes where. So that's perfect. So I found out that the, there are three wires here. The blue one. So that's easy. The red one is for the main relay. This location is responsible for providing voltage to the ACU. Be sure to run an inline fuse and connect this wire to a constant 12 volt. Uh, it doesn't say switched, so I'm not sure if it has to be switched or just on all the time. Then there's these two wires. There's a black and a yellow wire. Wire. The black one is for the tachometer, so it's for your RPM. The yellow one is for my check engine light, so I'm probably just gonna make uh, for the check engine light like a little LED in my dashboard or whatever, because I'm gonna use the OEM 280ZX dashboard. I want to keep everything OEM in, inside, like kind of OEM. And then there are these wires. Okay, so after I figured out which wire went where, I started labeling the wires. I bought this lab label wire on eBay for a few dollars and it made my job so much easier. I could label every wire and make sure that I would not forget which wire would go where. After this, I started wiring the wires I could, like the fuel pump and the 12 volt to the main relay. So that's it. This was more like a how to wire, not really uh, wiring the entire car. Uh, as you can see, I wired these two wires, the, the blue and the red one, the main 12 volt, and this one is going to my fuel pump. 
uh, that's in the back right there. I'm not sure if you can even see it. The connector is right there. So the next step is probably wiring. But this is it for this video. This is more like a how to wire any K engine in any harness. So give a thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.